Hi, my name is Justin Conway. I'm an Excel expert, and I'm going to show you how to remove a date autofill in Microsoft Excel. Um, there's an easy way to do this. Uh, hopefully, you don't already have your dates inputted, or I'm sorry, your numbers inputted, because the easiest way to do it is to make sure that the cells don't compute uh, the, the date to begin with. Um, and to do that, let's say you're going to have in this example, we have a new worksheet. We want the entire first column to be numbers that are going to look sort of like this. Let's have a 5 dash, 12 dash, um, something like that. And that looks like a date, but maybe that's a, some sort of part number for you or something like that. Um, in, in Excel, the way it's set up, if you hit enter now, uh, it, would, um, it would normally turn to a date. But the reason it didn't is because if you go into, uh, if you right click, go to Format Cells, um, you can see that this, this cell is actually uh, in the format of text. And uh, you can read the, the description. It's going to display text exactly as it appears without computing any, uh, any functions. If we perform this in another cell, which hasn't had that applied to it, and hit Enter, you can see that it automatically defaults to the date. Problem is, once this occurs, if you try to go back by going into Format Cells and select Text, it will not display the information as it originally appeared. It, uh, it sort of all changed in, in the calculation process. So uh, the key to this is making sure that the cell to begin with is in text format. So once again, um, we'll do that in this cell right here. We'll go to right click, Format Cells, Text, OK. Now when we input that same data and enter, it maintains its actual format without being converted to a date. And that's how to uh, keep the um, information, the numbers, from converting into a date in Microsoft Excel. My name is Justin Conway. I hope you enjoyed.